Some of you are gonna judge me for this, but just follow me, okay? I got a bit of a thought process going because I'm 99% sure he's supposed to eat these peas, right? Being gassy is bad. We just need to direct the gas at the girl, preferably out his mouth into the bubble. <laughs> so I'm thinking we plug his butt with the stick. No? Okay, there goes that plan. I was really, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. it's gotta be a plunger, right? Stick isn't big enough. <laughs> He's already got a huge stick up his butt. What's up guys? Welcome to Mischief to Couple 3. The latest installment in a series of strange, poorly translated Japanese games that I've come to realize are reverse dating sims. Now, usually you would meet people, romance them, and then if you're successful, bone. But in this case, you find couples they already know, break them up, and if you're successful, ruin their lives. Why do they have to hit me with a timed level right off the bat? Like, I, I need just a moment to appreciate the fact that there's a lady listening to a, a cup and string phone as she's being followed by a fat guy in the woods? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Oh, that's not the police. That's just your boyfriend. Okay, so he's busy yelling something at you. They might be having a bit of a long distance argument. Very good then. Um, can I cut the string? Can I take it from you? Can I have the tree crush you to death? Just cut out the middleman. Uh, do you want to step in at all, fatty? No, maybe I can give you a cup? Would that help at all? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so just bludgeon her with the cup and then drag her in the woods. E easy peasy, right? No. He didn't manage to intercept the love. Okay. I still prefer my idea of hitting her with the cup and dragging her off, right? Dude will never see it. He's in a different area code. <laughs> you can use a rock. If I could pick it up, apparently not. Um... It's a cup and string phone, right? You need string, but there's no string around. Ah, there's shoelaces. Okay, so you don't want shoelaces? Maybe we can tap the line? Yeah, there we go. So you get half of the love message, and she only gets half. Yeah, that makes total sense. <laughs> I love Japanese games. Like, even if you had all the time in the world to predict what's gonna happen, you would never get there in the end. I can guarantee it. <laughs> so they're flying some kind of kite next to a much bigger kite. Okay. Well, we have some rope. Do you have anything else for me, Mr. Boat? Uh, whoa, whoops. Sorry. I should have known it was windy out. Okay, that's... That's kind of my bad. I'm supposed to break them up, not ruin some fisherman's livelihood. I clearly need this rope for something, right? I, I, I just don't know how to take the sail down, I'm sorry! <laughs> Maybe I make it face that direction? No, okay, well, screw me, I guess. We're just gonna reinforce their kite? Oh, right, we could do a little something like that, and then when the wind blows... <laughs> I know we're supposed to break them up, but at the same time, you know, drowning is the same thing. You know, marriage is until death do you part. I'm sure dating is a little looser than that. This game and their frickin' timers, man. Like, do these people have no appreciation for how long it takes to flirt with an ice cream lady? I don't think they have any idea. Like, I want the two big scoops you got underneath that uniform. How about that? Is that a no? Can I get anything? Don't worry about the girlfriend. She's on standby mode. She doesn't blink a whole lot. Just conserving power for ice cream, I suppose. <laughs> She's a bit of a robot. Can I get anything here? Like, can I tune in to the 24-hour fruit tree live stream that you seem to be playing on your TV? That doesn't really help me. It's not like I can take something out of your TV screen. <laughs> uh... Well, today's ice creams are strawberry, chocolate, and welcome. Can I at least get a scoop of welcome, I suppose? I have to be missing something here, right? <laughs> okay. Well, girlfriend is rebooted. She's enjoying ice cream. And I'm guessing that's a game over. Oh, it's a classic case of misdirection. 
Or are you so busy commenting and staring at the ice cream lady's titties that you never even realize that he's wearing a backpack, which is out of the ordinary for him. And he's got a TV remote, which means we can get rid of the stupid tree channel and tune into some sports, which is far manlier, but still useless because it's a TV screen. I can't take anything from it. We already know that. Uh, lady, what are you packing? A butcher's knife. Yeah, that's what I would expect from somebody who never blinks, just carrying around a knife in public. You don't want to chop her into bits. I, I can't use that at a soccer game. Oh, 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 I might be able to use that uh, in a tree though, right? I might be able to use that to cut down a fruit and then I clearly need the soccer game for something. Would you like this? Yes, yes, okay, uh, red card on the play. We're ejecting diarrhea fruit from the game because right now he needs to be in the ice cream. Is that good? That's gotta do something, right? Wasn't the effect I was thinking. Japanese diarrhea is weird. Finally, a moment to think. And I'm really gonna need it because he's standing like three feet away from a wall covered in balloons. Like, how could you possibly miss this? <laughs> I don't suppose I could shove a shovel in your gun, no. Uh, what if I just give you a BB and you miss? Is that a possibility? No, you won her a prize. Okay, so we don't want to give him ammo. Well, we clearly need this shovel for something. I just don't know what. <laughs> I, I, again, I see if I can bludgeon her like that's ever going to be a possibility. Oh. Weird. What is that? Isn't that just... Oh, no, it's not a BB. It's something else. It's slightly bigger and kind of off shape. Okay, what if you try to shoot that? So it just kind of pittered out and he managed to screw up and she hates that. Okay. So by the looks of things, he's getting ready to feed her some kind of candy treats, I suppose. Uh, I don't suppose we could exchange that with something like a stick. Yeah, do you want to feed her a stick? No? Okay then, uh... What if we fish out something from underneath the fridge like a bag of old peas? Yeah, there you go. Feed her old peas. Eat the old peas. That's not what I wanted it... Oh, you're gonna eat it. Oh, oh! Huh. Okay. So that kind of worked, but she doesn't mind the fart. Some of you are gonna judge me for this, but just follow me, okay? I got a bit of a thought process going because I'm 99% sure he's supposed to eat these peas, right? Being gassy is bad. We just need to direct the gas at the girl, preferably out his mouth into the bubble. <laughs> so I'm thinking we plug his butt with the stick. No? Okay, there goes that plan. I was really... Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. It's gotta be a plunger, right? Stick isn't big enough. <laughs> He's already got a huge stick up his butt. Yeah, there we go. Nothing like a burpy bubble to ruin your day. You already know that any level with fireworks is gonna end well for us and poorly for them. But once again, I gotta ask the question, what's hiding in the tall grass? It's nuts or turds, maybe. I'm not really sure. Do you guys want some turd nuts? No? Gonna hang out here and wait for the show to start? Okay, I'll be right with you. <laughs> I, I'm guessing Thor Odinson was on vacation, so they just decided to send Thor Mailman. I don't suppose you would like some nuts, would you? You got a hammer? Yeah, of course you would. Hey, hey, those are my turd nuts. Hey, 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 no, sharing means caring. So I appreciate you lending me Mjolnir. Just gonna go ahead and summon a storm? Lightning? No, I kind of figured that would screw up a fireworks show. Uh, oh. We can use it to beat up the fireworks. I feel like we didn't need Mjolnir to do that. That might have been excessive. What am I missing here? Oh, we need a lighter to set it off. Let me guess, you're probably packing a lighter. Of course you are. Okay, here you are. <laughs> Enjoy the show! Oh.
I kind of figured it would explode in their faces, but turns out Mjolnir has a sense of irony. So the seasons come and go about as quickly as their arguments do, and they're still together, unfortunately. He's got a snowball in his hand. I'm really hoping if I hit play, he'll just peg her in the head. No, she'll dodge it. Of course she will. She never blinks. Why would she miss that? So maybe she wouldn't dodge it if she didn't see that snowball coming. Oh. I assume we could put the hat down over her eyes, but instead we got a snowman forehead? What is this? <laughs> Can't we just throw it at her like that? That works, right? Oh! It's a fan blade. That's what this thing is. Okay, so we need to find the other fan blades, and then we will trip up and set off another romance landmine. Who's putting roses in trees in the middle of winter? So am I supposed to dig around in the snow until I find a bunch of pure white fan blades? <laughs> Is this hell? Did I die and get sent to hell? No, I don't want that. Oh. Oh, okay, now we got the full fan, there we go. Just had to keep shaking the tree. I thought it might make the snowball curve, but it diced it up. Whatever pisses her off, okay? So her poor little kitty has gotten itself stuck up in a tree, and I'm guessing if we give him the ladder, he's just gonna crawl right up it and save the day. I don't know why I do these things when I'm saying out loud that I know it's gonna screw me over. It's just instinct to act on what I say when playing these stupid games. Only problem is, the ladder is the only thing that I can interact with here. So, uh, I'm thinking we might need to set it up and then pull it out from underneath him, or have her spot him and screw up? Oh no! No, that that would work a whole lot better. I was about to say, people very rarely die in this, but... Uh... There's always a possibility... I meant for him falling out of the tree, not crushing her with the tree. Is this the point where she finally snaps? She's a little creepy, right? I feel like she's gonna go get her purse, find her butcher's knife, come back here, and just chop him into pieces. Maybe? Is that what you're doing? You've, uh... Got a... What is that, a mask? Would you, okay, yeah, you got a mask. That's not creepier at all. We got some ice cubes, sure. There, there's some ice. Are you pranking him? Oh, good prank. Oh, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's, uh, I was gonna say keep it in the bedroom, but I, I guess you are. So what if I give you the mask instead? And when she tries to prank you, maybe she'll think that it's not really you? You'll freak out and run to her purse and fall on her butt. All right. I keep hoping for gruesome murder and getting playground accidents. Like, it's just not working out for me. <laughs> so they're watching some kind of romantic TV show. I'm guessing he's not all too into it. Uh, and they have a fridge full of chips. Chips? Really? Uh, okay. What if we get him to change the channel? That'll piss her off. Yeah, how about that? And then he could even eat some chips and... Oh no, he's he's gonna feed you chips and that's romantic and I lose. I kind of figured if we interrupt the TV show enough, she would get pissed off, but apparently not. What if you change the channel, she'll change it back, and then we feed her chips, and then you change the channel and she'll change it back. Do I need to be faster? What if I do like this? There we go. <laughs> She's got her hands full of chips. She can't take back the remote, so instead flames and death. Really? You're gonna give me 12 seconds to figure out what's going on here? I can't even have a conversation with a plant in 12 seconds. <laughs> so he's standing here with a drink in his hand and a temperature that's going up. Oh, it's her drink. So maybe we need to make the drink warm? So what exactly do these buttons do? We've got a hand that makes him warm up the drink. Okay. Until he answers his phone and orders a bouquet of roses? That makes this so much worse! Come on, dude! No, no, stop the elevator! Stop the elevator! Can we, can we stop the elevator? No? Where did the warm drink option go? You were doing great just jerking off that cup! 
Oh, this is actually kind of tricky. There's a warm it up with your hand button, and then there's the flower button that switches position with it, which we don't want. So we need to make sure not to hit the flower button. Okay then, how's that taste? <laughs> nice warm milk. Yum. Well, the good news is Ice Cream Titties is back. <laughs> Didn't think we'd see her again. She's working fast food all of a sudden. The bad news is they're watching that same romantic movie again, and it's gonna be impossible to get them to fight with that going. Maybe we can turn it off somehow? Oh, okay, yeah. A random fast food garbage USB. That's probably not too safe. Can't put it in their computer. Let me guess. Fat guy's here, of course he is. <laughs> the fast food joint, why wouldn't he be? And she has got triplet sisters. Hello, ladies. I'm guessing I need to put you in here. I get a bit of a Trojan horse. Okay, that will help. How are you doing, ma'am? Are you number four, perhaps? Oh, that's a real shame. Doesn't matter to me. No, 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 I, I didn't get the chance to pop it in their computer. The romantic movie took effect. So we need to find some way to clean up this slob soda spill or, or else she's not gonna be able to bring the food to them and they're gonna get lovey-dovey all over again. So we definitely need this and that would do the trick. Perfect. So we'll clean you up, we'll pop you in, it download you real quick and then I'm guessing you can walk by no problem. Can I just race you over here maybe? Okay. So far, so good. The USB is in. That's what we need, right? The virus seems to have played the ring. Didn't see that coming, but <laughs> neither did they. This is why you guys should always be eating fast food. She tries to make something at home and it bursts into flames. <laughs> She's panicking. And I'm not going for the fire extinguisher, okay? Instead, I'm going to go for the oil. I would imagine that would put out the fire. No. Uh, okay, do I have anything else? I got a screwdriver. I don't see how a screwdriver is going to affect a fire. Oh, I probably should have used the screwdriver on the fire extinguisher and maybe filled it with oil? That seems kind of dangerous, doesn't it? I mean, I'm all for danger, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, that does seem to be the solution, doesn't it? We're just going to fill you with oil. Pop you back on, and then just play the waiting game. Like, just to be clear, this is gonna douse her in flammable liquid and probably consume the entire kitchen in flames. <laughs> Works for me, come on now, please. Yep, oh, oh, okay, mm-hmm. She's always got fire over her head anyway, every time she gets pissed at you, so wouldn't really be all that concerned. Now I know what you're thinking. It's real weird that he's about to flick her in the forehead. We should just let this play out, but I gotta ask, why is the knight flipping me the bird? <laughs> Seems really rude. I don't know why someone would have home decor. Oh, I'll just take that finger. Okay, oh, I see. So what if you know? I thought maybe if you had a metal finger to flick her with, that would hurt a whole lot, but I Guess not. Oh, I gotta, I gotta jimmy it first. Gotta, gotta, yeah, get it ready. There we go. And boop. And that smart. <laughs> I hate that I can decipher these things right off the bat. Honestly, I, I feel like this game is making me dumber. So strangely enough, this game is actually divided into decades. We just played through the 80s, and there's also the 90s and the. 2000s, I would assume. So what do the 90s have to offer us? Ooh, the 90s have been getting hot and spicy and maybe a little oily. Okay, can we oil up one of these ladies and grab his attention? We can oil her up, apparently. Oil up the ground beneath her, I see. And that should probably get the job done. I was kind of expecting one of them to be oiled, you know, maybe you have something bounce out and uh, th th this is fine, right? She could just, she could just fall and get romantically caught and screw me. The only thing that I can interact with here is the oil. So I'm guessing I have to do something with the game playing out. Great, right? oh, oh, okay, okay. What if I screw up your spike? Mmm, yeah, that'll do it. 
that will do it. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Mischief to Couple 3, guys. And if you wanna see another decade, uh, another dozen levels of me progressively getting dumber, then be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I'll return for more soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.